Hello there. Welcome to my bed. I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome to my bed. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm gonna be doing a book review of Caravel. 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 Um, yeah. Hello everyone. Okay, so um, I just finished reading the- would it be better if I- Pull it backwards since this is okay, so I just read Caravel by Stephanie Garber and um I have a lot of opinions on this book. I um this will be my first book review. I want to make more of these. But um so I gotta stop being so focused, sorry. Uh so uh what's what what where should I start? Warning this book review might contain spoilers. It probably will contain spoilers. And I also just got out of the shower, so that's why I look like this and I'm wearing my pajamas, so you just have to deal with that. I also just wanted my beautiful lights to be in the camera, but whatever. Um, so Caravel sort of surrounds this whole thing of like these two girls, Donatella and um, Scarlet. And by the way, if I mispronounce anything in this book, I am sorry. Like. Sorry if this is not even pronounced Caravel. I don't know. I just saw this on the bookshelf of my library and I'm like, Carnival! Let's read Carnival! I'm like, oh, it's Caravel. But I've just been seeing this book everywhere online and I'm just like, I gotta try it out. Like on- I got all of like these books that I keep- like Renegades, King of the Wicked, all these books that I've been seeing online. So it surrounds these two sisters, Scarlet and Donatella, and they have an awful dad. <laughs> who uh, is like abusive and crap and did their mom like ran away and like you know and then they've been learning about like this magical like land called Caraval of this guy named Legend who does these like elaborate performances of these people that go into this magical world where they all these weird things happen and sometimes like if they get too deep into the game it makes them lose their sanity <laughs> so I'm like this sounds cool like, I was like, th this sounds really cool. And at first I was sort of like, I mean, I liked it. Like, it was enough to keep me addicted. The way that the pacing, the way that Stephanie wrote this book, like, it was, it was good. But, like, it sort of, when we came across Julian in this book, it sort of gave borderline cliche, like, bad boy romance, like, fantasy subplot. And I was just like, okay, like... I've seen this before. I'll admit to enjoying that though. Like I will admit that this has been a guilty pleasure read and I did enjoy Scarlett and Julian's relationship despite thinking that I wasn't going to. So I did like the relationship. I even liked him at first. I did not like him or Scarlett. I was just- Donatella by far is the best character. I'm just- she's my favorite character in all this. But Julian and Scarlett, it took me a while to warm up to them but eventually I really liked them once I learned everything. So if you want to go insane and feel confused, this book is perfect for you because everything- there are so many shocking things that happen, so many like deaths, so many like just things, and it feels very real in the book. It feels very real to Scarlet and it feels real to you. Like I got so worried about this book. I got really worried. I was worried sick for the characters and I just- it made me like emotional and like just kind of like anxious about what's gonna happen next. So like, and the ending, this book is a big master of plot twists. Like, I'm not joking, this is the best author I have seen with plot twists because I could not predict the ending to this book. Usually with books, I can just be like, oh, this is how the book is gonna end and then it ends exactly how I predicted. But this one, I could not predict the ending. So if you like a lot of plot twists, then this will be good for you. Um, I- if I were to rate this out of 10, after I read the entire book, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10 because there are so many, like, misconceptions. And this is from Scarlet's mind. So many of the things that you think this book is trying to make a point on or you think this book is talking about, seems it seems like, oh, all the men in this book suck. Like, her dad and the Count and even Julian. Like, he, like you're just like, oh, all these bunch of guys are crap and they're ruining Donatella and Scarlet's life. But really... Um, there's more to it than that, and more to legend, more to the caravel, more to the entire world than, like, what you think. And it's really, um, 
it really kind of opened my eyes. And, like, when I got to the end, it just sort of was all a revelation. And the fact that, um, big spoiler here, again, I told you don't watch this if you don't want spoilers. Donatella was the one behind all of it. Like, we all know. Which is why she's my favorite character. Like, I knew that she was so much smarter than she came across. Like, Scarlet's like, oh, my sister's such a flake and a scatterbrain. But I personally love characters who will take big risks like that and just try to, um, you know, they will try to just take a risk and not know what's going to happen, but they'll take a try for something to look for something better. Because that's similar to my personal pattern of thinking. Like, I tend to be like, okay, let's let's try something out instead of, like, just staying safe like Scarlet likes to. That, the way Tella thinks is more like how I think, so I just maybe related better with Tella. Whereas when I looked at Scarlet, I'm like, you don't make any sense. That's, you, you're living a life of, like, misery and you just want to stay in it. Like, what is wrong with you? But Tella was by far, Tella was the one who, like, I really loved the ending. Their relationship between the sisters was amazing. Tell, I really love Tella. And she's apparently, I think, the protagonist of Legendary, the next book, so don't spoil the book for me, please. I haven't read it yet. Apparently it's in her perspective, and I'm excited to read her perspective, because she's been behind all this. But Scarlet was a really great character. She really grew. Julian really grew as a character, too. They grew together in a relationship, even though, like, he's sort of like a pathological liar. <laughs> you learn that he is a perf again, spoiler, that he is a performer of Caraval. Like, he's a performer, so he does have to lie. Like, he has to lie. So that made him seem like less of a bad person, more like he is a part of the game. This entire game lies to you. And that's sort of the point. So, again, if you really want something along the lines of, like, Alice in Wonderland and, like, a better version of the Night Circus with, like, better storytelling with just as good description as the Night Circus being, like, a similar genre, this is better. Read this, not the Night Circus. I will make a review on the Night Circus. I have opinions on that book. If you want me to make a review of the Night Circus, I'm gonna have to get, out of, get a copy out of the library just to refresh myself of my memory of that book. But I have opinions on that book. Back to Caribou. Um, So yeah, at first when I read it, I rated it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. I'm like, it's just okay. But it got me like addicted. Like I was still addicted to this. I was like, this is very guilty pleasure read. But after I read it, I really got the point of the book. I got what the author was trying to say. It just made me feel pretty deeply for the characters in the end. And like, eventually my rating bumped up to like a 9. And I think my only criticism is that the fact that I did think... It was a little cliche in the beginning. I did think it was a little bit, I've seen these tropes before. But the rest of the book was very unpredictable and, like, not cliche at all at the end. And, like, was really not what you're expecting when you read, like, a fantasy book with a romantic subplot. So I did think that it was a bit misleading in the beginning, but that's the whole point. And as the warning says in the book, remember, it is only a game. Like, that's the whole point. Like, this, this book got me questioning what was real and what was not. So if you want, like, a... Secret Life of Walter Mitty thing going on. That that's this book. It was really good. So, yeah. And I am actually going to read the rest of this series if it is just as good as this book. I will read more of it. Who knows? I might even like it better because I found out that I do sometimes like sequels better. But anyway, that is my opinion. Maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you want to see more book reviews because I've. Try to make reading a goal of mine and, um, like, reading more because I like to write books, so I need to read to write books, right? And I, d I do enjoy reading. I just, I'm just a picky reader, but I'm trying to give books a chance. And I almost put this one down a couple times, so I was like, okay. But then I was like, I'm glad I didn't put it down, though. So overall, 9.5 out of 10. Totally recommend. Go give it a read. This was worth it. Let me know what you think. Bye!